Hey everybody, happy Friday. I wish I could just move that a little bit. <laughs> oh well, that's what the camera sits on when I turn it and I really can't move it. Anyhow, hello, hopefully you guys have had a great week. January is almost over. I don't know how I feel about that. I used to hate January and now I like it. You know, just because there's not a lot of things. <laughs> Not all the things that have to be done. Hello, everybody. It's good to see you guys. So today, Facebook Friday is a little bit different. Usually I pick a bundle or a stamp set. And today I'm kind of featuring three things. Well, yeah, I guess three things. The star of the show today is this gorgeous paper, Favored Flowers. And I will tell you, I will be honest with you, when I first saw it in the Celebration Catalog, all right, turn the page. It's, I think it's probably my favorite. It is gorgeous and you guys, we're gonna play with it today, three different projects. It's free with a $50 purchase during celebration. The other two things we're using are the Country Bouquet stamp set and then the, um, I keep forgetting the, the name, Love For You bundle, it's the word dies. Um, that's I think on the very next page, kind of Valentine-ish, but not really. You know, could use it for Valentine's Day, but you could also use it for a hundred other things. So that's what we're going to do today. Hi, guys. It's so good to see you. Okay, let me make sure. Let me pull you guys up. So I've been having internet issues here. Really weird, like pages on my computer are taking forever to load. And I don't know. And even when we were watching something last night, we got the little spinning, you know. Are my lights flickering? No. Does it look like they're flickering? So... Who knows? It may be internet issues. Let's all keep our fingers crossed because um, Facebook's making it even harder now to download this video. So one of these days I am not going to have the recording and people are going to be mad. <laughs> oh, thanks, Carla. I, I, I don't know. You know, it is what it is. Thank you, though. Um, okay, let's get started. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Where do I want to start? There's just so many things to tell you. Okay, okay, let's clear off the desk. Adhesive kits, I still have adhesive kits. If you need an adhesive kit, they're available. Um, they have basic adhesive in it, plus a, a little freebie in there. It's the puff paint, and uh, puff snowfall puff paint. Is that what it's called? These are always available in my online store. So at my top of my blog, it does look like I'm having internet issues. Oh, great. Well, let's just, let's try to trudge through. Hmm. Everyone's having problems with Facebook. Yeah, they are. Anyway, these adhesive kits, if you scroll across the top of my blog, there's a shop tab that drops down. And underneath that, it'll say past class kits. That's where the adhesive kits are as well. I need to change the name of that, like stuff for sale <laughs> maybe um carla let's see what did you say i just missed it scroll down over here let's see uh boo, 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 i can't see um i think it's technology in general it's been almost an hour on the phone that helped us this morning oh, solar flares and that what we used to say solar flares <laughs> okay so there's that um the all-star tutorial bundle the subscription period is almost up so this is the PDF I put together, well, I don't put it together. Bruno puts it together. There's 12 different demonstrators across the world. We all come together every month, make a tutorial using one suite of the catalog. Um, we offer these free with a purchase. So if you order with me during January, I will email this to you for free. Um, but if you are a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator and you don't wanna order from me, you can buy just the PDF. It's available $15 in my PDF store. Somebody else said it's flickering. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Um, subscription is the other option. During January, you can get the subscription where you subscribe, you get pay for five months, you get six months for free. So if you're interested in that, the subscription closes next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, I thought it was Wednesday, Tuesday. Denise is all good on your end? All right, who knows? Um, my project this month, all the projects this month are the Fancy Flora Suite. By the way, another underrated suite. I'm, 
I will admit to you guys, I'm always like, I don't need any more flowers. These flowers are gorgeous. You need these flowers. Anyway, all of them feature the fancy flora suite. Next month's is the country bouquet suite. Here's my project for next month, little sneak peek. Okay, so that'll come out February 1st. Okay, so there is that. If you're wanting those details, everything is on my blog today. It's also on the second page of the PDF. My Facebook Friday PDF is uploaded, um, hopefully. I checked it and it was there. Let's see. A green screen keeps flashing in and out. What? What in the heck? I don't know. We've never had that happen before. Okay, well, I'm just, don't tell me anymore because I don't know how to fix it. Don't tell me. Um, <laughs> don't tell me. Um, anyhow, this is free uh, over at pinkbuckaroo.com. And all the links to the things I'm getting ready to show you are over there. All right, I'm going to switch the camera down so that I can show you a couple of other things. All right, so just hold on a second. It's there. Okay, good. Yeah, I. you know what? I put it up early today. I was like, you know, I should just... Instead of scheduling this, I should just post it early, like 45 minutes early, and then I could test it. So that's what I did today. Okay. Hopefully you guys were not super crooked. Okay. Um, while I am beginning the stages of moving, you know, we're moving in the summer, and the first stage is to purge, right? To clean out. So we've started doing that. So I'm going to start telling you guys I have things that you that you might want okay so today I have a couple of old paper pumpkin kits I always hold on to one and then I now I have too many and again I'm trying to purge so that I don't have to move all this stuff so if you're in the market for some old paper pumpkin kits I have one of these it was the May 2022 kit the new in color kit all right these are $26 shipped in the box. Um, if you want more than one, we can combine them in, we can take them out of the box, combine them in a padded envelope and save just a couple dollars on shipping, okay? Um, I have one of these. These were really popular too. I held on to this one for a really long time because I thought I was going to do it, but I never did. The Hope Box, August 2021. This was the box that Shelly designed. Big stamp set, bolt of ribbon, made these beautiful projects. I don't even remember what they were. You can Google them and it'll tell you what they were. Um, but some of you may remember and you may know exactly which one you want. I only have one of those. This one I didn't open, but here's a picture of it. Um... And that is wrong. That was at the garage sale. Um, it's, so it's including shipping, it's $26. This is May 2020 kit, another in color kit. All right. This is so cute. I bet that's magenta. And I can't, what was that green called? Mm, call me Clover. Was that it? I don't know. Anyway, I've got one of those. I have two of this one, I think. Hold on, hold on before I tell you. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. Which one do I have two of? Oh, I have two of the Hope box. I have two of Shelly's kits. Um, and then I have one of this. This is the Valentine kit from last year. Kisses and Hugs. Uh, makes these cute little fold-out cards. They're not, I mean, they're not necessarily Valentine's, but they're like love-themed. So I have those. And then I have several of these. This is this month's. If you, something happened to yours your card didn't go through whatever and you need one of this month's kit, I have a couple of these as well. All you have to do is email me, first come, first serve. Don't get mad. I only have one of most of those, okay? All right, so it's celebration and today's Make and Takes feature a celebration item. I'm sure everyone on here knows what celebration is, but let me just review. When you... <coughs> excuse me, when you spend $50 online in January, February, 2023, you get to choose something free from here. There are level one products. Those are free with a $50 purchase. So you've got a couple of stamp sets, um, some paper. This is the paper we're using today and another stamp set. Then there are level two items. Beautifully happy. What kind of flowers are those, you guys? Somebody knows. 
I was just looking at this stamp set earlier today. I've given it no attention. And I was like, hmm, that is really pretty. So that's free with 100. And then this awesome giant paper pack called Dandy Designs is free with $100. So that's when you order. If you want to buy the starter kit, here's the deal on the starter kit, page 18. You have three options during celebration. For $125, $125, nope, $129, you get to pick out $175 in product of your choice from the annual, the spring, or clearance rack. Guys, you don't get celebration items in your starter kit, okay? The reason is you're getting a bunch of stuff for free. So you're getting um, $76 in product for free, plus you're getting this, okay? So then once you buy the starter kit, you get an email, here's your demo number, then you can start ordering using your demo number and you get that 20% instant income and then you get celebration items on those orders, okay? I get that question a lot during celebration. Do I get the celebration? I well, that's like double dipping because you're already getting about $75 in product for free, um, which is even like, you know, the worth more. So just know that you're already getting a lot of free stuff. And then once you get your demo number, you can put in your own orders and you do get celebration items on those orders. Okay, so option one, you guys, we've added 40 people to my team this month. Not just me, me and my downline, 40 people. Lots of people are taking advantage of this beautiful machine. It's only available during celebration and you can only get it um, in that starter kit. It's light, it's a pretty color um, and uh, you know, I just, I, I love it. I think it's an amazing deal. So $129, you get that and $175 in product plus free shipping. If you don't like blue, maybe you're like allergic to blue <laughs> or it makes you want to throw up or something. I don't know. You can also choose the white machine, right? The white machine's cute. It's totally cute, but I think the blue machine is beautiful, but that's option two. Option three is for those of you who are like, I don't need another machine. I've got too many machines, but I want to take advantage of the starter kit. That is $99 and you get $175 in product of your choice, free shipping. Okay. All right. Any questions? Any questions? Yeah. Elaine, 40. I know it's been very exciting. Every day I open my email, there's a new one. So exciting. Carol says they're hollyhocks. You know, I was going to say hollyhock, Carol. I saw hollyhock for the very first time last spring at Lowe's. And I was like, what in the world is that? It looked like something from Little Shop of Horrors. It was humongous. And it was crazy. And I was like, that's a hollyhock? I, I guess they don't grow around here. I don't know. But it looked kind of like a monster. This doesn't look like a monster. Are they real big? Are hollyhocks really big? Those of you that have them? Um, Michelle's asking, are they going to offer additional celebration items? Michelle, I have heard nothing about that. I wish I wish I knew. In, in the past, they have added celebration items midway through. I have not heard a peep about that. And I kind of suspect if they were going to, they would have told us. Maybe, maybe not. May, I don't know. I really have no idea. I wish I knew. I wish I could answer that. And I wish it was a set of taco dyes <laughs> that they would release. Wouldn't that be awesome? So Cliffy, they are really tall flowers, right? They're really big. Okay. It was like huge and like three feet tall in this pot. And I swear it reminded me of Seymour, remember little hop of little shop of horrors? 12 to 10 to 12 feet tall. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Wasn't it? Isn't it kind of like spiky too? It had like some prickles on it, maybe. I don't know. Anyhow, these flowers do not have prickles. This is a fa uh, fancy flora suite I was talking about earlier. This is Club Create. Club Create is open. If you'd like to join, it's $39 a month. You get a kit in the mail every month from me. Um it's <laughs> I'm distracted. Thank you, Lisa. She says taco dyes would sell out one day. I kind of think they would too, Lisa, but they didn't ask me. <laughs> I know we need the taco dyes. Bring the taco dyes. We should start an online petition. Um, this is Club Creates, a subscription. It's my subscription club. Um, you sub subscribe and then you could cancel anytime. But if you stay six months, you get $25 in product for free. Um, this is next month's kit, February's kit. 
The registration or to, the deadline to join for this kit is February 7th. Um, and then the next kit will be out, fingers crossed, it's going to be rain or shine, the rain or shine bundle. Somebody scared me. Uh, I, the next um, paper pumpkin is coordinates with the rain, rain or shine suite. And so somebody scared me. They were like, oh no, that means it's going to sell out. And then so that scared me. That's pure speculation. We have no idea. But then it scared me. So I'm hoping March's kit is rain or shine if you are Club Create. If it's not, then we'll do the motorcycle set. I can't remember what it's called. Enjoy the, no, that's the other one. Um, I don't know, you guys know motorcycle chips. <laughs> Whoa, I almost said something bad and didn't mean to. The motorcycle suite is what I was trying to say. Okay, and then good news, speaking of tacos, my class to go is open for registration once again. I had to cut it off earlier in the month because you guys were like amazing and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't handle more than this. So those shipped yesterday. So if you order the Taco Fiesta class to go, it actually went out a couple days early, it went out yesterday. So I've opened it up again for those of you that missed it. If you registered for this kit the first time, this is the exact same kit. You don't need to register for it again. It's exactly the same. There's nothing different, okay? Um, you can get it with a stamp set, without the stamp set. There's also the PDF slash video only option. Um, you can get that. Um, the information, if you want, at the bottom of today's PDF, right here. You guys, I wish you could see my dog. He's right here trying to get in the trash can. I mean, like he doesn't see me trying to do a Facebook Live. Mac. There's nothing, well, there might be something in there. I think there may be some crackers. <laughs> like he has no respect for Facebook Live. Um, anyways, um, link right here for you, okay? Um, links, links, all the links for all the things, okay? Okay. Okay. Hopefully we're not in and out. We're not fading in and out. Denise, <laughs> Denise, I'm going to drop some stuff at your house today, by the way. Denise is my assistant, and she helped me die cut for this. You know, it's funny. I usually try to keep my classes somewhat simple-ish, and I do all the die cutting for you. Um, this class was a monster. It had like 15 die cuts per kit, 16. I don't know. It had a lot. Plus, there were six projects. Plus, there were twice as many kits as normal. So it was insane. Um it was a huge blessing, thank you, but also it was keeping me from going to sleep at night because I was scared I wasn't going to be able to get it all done. But Denise was worked at the die cut machine like a beast and helped me get that out on time. So thank you, Denise. Um, your stuff is here, Denise. I'm going to bring it to you when we go to the house today, plus something else, okay? All right, I think we are ready. Um... Welcome to Facebook Friday. If you've never been here before, every Friday I pick a product to try to focus. And today's focus was going to be, really was going to be the for, why can't I remember the name of that? Love for you bundle. But then I played with the paper and I wanted to pull in country bouquet. So whatever, we're using um, love for you bundle, country bouquet bundle, and the favored flowers paper on all three. Um, if you haven't joined me go, before, go to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. Um, there is a free PDF. I have all three of the photos there of the projects we're doing. The PDF is under the last photo. There's also a um, individual recording of each tutorial linked under each photo in case you want to come back and watch with better quality, zoomed in, all that. Um, this is there. The other part of Facebook um, Friday is that if you want today's projects for free, I send them as a thank you with anybody who orders with me between now and Monday, excuse me, at midnight. As long as your order is over $35 and you use this host code, I will send you the make and takes. And they come, they look like this. Um, you will need the Love For You bundle and the Country Bouquet bundle and the Hive 3D embossing folder to create these projects. I won't do any of that stuff. I don't send stamped images. So you'll need those bundles or use something else in its place. But I will send you embellishments, paper, um, scored, some die cuts that aren't in those bundles, those kinds of things. Um, but the deadline for that is Monday at midnight. All right, one more thing and then we'll get started. How about door prizes? I finally remembered last week 
I chose Julia Torres, who shared the video on Facebook. Julia, thank you. I don't have your mailing address. I don't think. So Julia, will you please email me so I can get this in the mail to you? Thank you for sharing my video. This week I've got a share a milkshake bundle to give away. So please share the video either on Facebook or YouTube. Let me know in the comments that you've shared and I'll pick somebody at random next week to be the winner of the share a milkshake bundle. All right. Now that my mouth is thoroughly dry, I am going to get started. What time is it? 16 minutes. Okay, I did pretty good. All right, now I have kind of made a mess. So yesterday, hold on. Yesterday, once I got my Taco Fiesta classes out, I did some design work in the afternoon. And I was pulling from these trays that we're using today. So I'm a little concerned <laughs> that not everything is going to be here. And I can already tell that things are on the wrong trays. So patience would be much appreciated. All right, so this card I made for our team swap. We did we do a team swap every month on my team. And uh, last month's, well, no, it was this month's meeting. The theme was new product. And, you know, that is so hard for me to narrow it down when I have all this new product that I want to use. Um, but I, I was loving that paper. So I started with this favored flowers paper and made this card. And it's an anniversary card. See inside? Happy anniversary. The awesome thing about this stamp set, so you have the large words. But then you can, you know, you can personalize it for however you need it. Um, thanks for all you do. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy anniversary. Congratulations. Nobody gets me like you, friend, each and every day. So, you know, it can be Valentine's Day, but it most certainly can be other things as well. All right, now let me show you this paper. It's wild, right, and busy, but gorgeous. The colors are gorgeous. And there's a stamp set in the annual, cat, no, no, in the spring catalog that coordinates with it, we're gonna use the dies on the last project. The dies will cut out some of the flowers. Um, so really deep, rich, regal colors. You've got Blackberry Bliss, Mossy Meadow. Here are some of the flowers that the dies will cut out. Um, and then it switches over to Calypso Coral. What I'm guessing is Pale Papaya. Nope, Petal Pink, Petal Pink. I don't know if Anne Marie's on here. We were making jokes about petal pink last night. Is it, she said, is it coral? Is it pink? Nobody knows. <laughs> I said it's like a skin tone that doesn't fall into any category. Uh, but it also has fresh freesia and more big flowers. I really, really like the geometric patterns. Look at those colors. I would never put those colors together, but they go so well together. So even if you're not a flower person, which I don't really think I'm much of a flower person, you will appreciate these uh, geometric patterns on the back of the paper. All right. All right. So there's the paper that we are using today. Okay. Let me move it out of the way. Remember, it's free. And as my friend Belinda says, if it's free, it's for me. <laughs> Okay, let's see, what do we wanna do first? Let's do our stamping. So this is a photopolymer stamp set, which means it's clear, right? It's totally clear. But you can see that mine is now like the color of my fingernails, hot pink. Um, and that is because it's stained from the rich Razzleberry ink that I'm using. Does it bother me that it's stained? No, not at all. Does it bother some people? Maybe. Um, don't let it bother you because um, the stamp still works just fine. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. If it's not stained, that means you're not using it. So let it get inky. And, you know, it just shows that you've used it. All right, so I'm using my Stamparatus on this because it's a large stamp. And because of that, when you stamp... Sometimes, and my magnet is probably too close. Okay, please don't move paper. Um, sometimes when you stamp a large stamp, it doesn't stamp all the way, you know, like all the, the sides. Hold on just a second. I'm gonna get my other magnet over here. I've lost, I have two Stamparatuses and I've lost one of my magnets. Um, so anyways, the other reason I like to use the Stamparatus is because I can do layers of ink on here. 
I want it to be a dark, rich color. And so, ooh, I like that, right? Really dark and rich. So that way you can re-stamp it because it stays in the same place. Now, the other stamps are two-step stamps, which means you stamp one and then you stamp another one right on top of it. Um, I'm gonna use the same color on both stamps and I'm gonna stamp off so that the ink isn't very dark. Um, I'm using, again, Rich Razzleberry, so I'm gonna stamp off on my grid paper and then stamp on my basic white. But then this time, I'm going to, let's see if we can get it lined up. The, the key I found with these is to match the little circles. And you know what, maybe, oh yeah, that's pretty good. You'll see here in the third project, sometimes when you do two-step stamping, one thing is either the solid or the, the detailed stamp, one or the other is better to stamp first. And you'll just figure it out by trial and error. And so this one, I don't know, we'll do the solid one first or the, the you know, the more detailed one, and then we'll do the stamping off second. Maybe that's a little bit easier. I don't know, I think maybe it's preference and I think all stamps are different. Sometimes the, the inside image is better to do first, sometimes the outside image. So just you just have to play around with it and see. All right, and then we're gonna do two leaves and um, you know, old olive is what I used. And in my clean recording, the individual recording of this project, I said it was garden green. And I realized after I was done that that was the wrong color. Okay, and you can use your Stamparatus too if you want to line those up, of course. Um, I just did it like that because it's faster and I wasn't too terribly worried about not getting them lined up. All right, so we have these dies that are gonna cut that out. We also have the flower dies and the leaf dies. And then you can see there's like a cloud behind it, okay? So we're gonna cut the cloud the quote cloud out of crumb cake. All right, so let's see, do I have plates? I do have plates. All right, now while I'm cutting this out, I have been wanting to tell you guys all week about the show that I told you last week to watch. Did any of you start watching it? It's called Hunters. It's about Nazi hunters. We'd only watched the first season and I told you it was a little little on the violent side. Well, okay, second season I could almost not even watch. So I want to put an asterisk <laughs> by the shows that I tell you guys to watch. I should wait until I'm done watching it. I don't know, it was good, but some of, some of you are not gonna have a stomach for it. So I'm just warning you, okay? As I was watching, as we were watching the second season this week, I was like, oh my gosh, this is really gruesome. I mean, I had to leave the room for a couple of it, a couple things, it just, Ugh, it's a lot. Has anybody watched it? Okay, why is my dye not finding its home? Come on, find your home. You have to swirl it around until you find it. There we go. Is that it? What's going on? Do I have the right dye? Yes. Suddenly, I can't find. There we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> the flowers aren't symmetric, so you have to turn that dye until you find its home. And you'll know as soon as you get it that it's where it's supposed to be. Okay, so a little post-it tape to hold that one because I really don't want that one to... Um, Patricia, it's very graphic. Yeah, Kim, the twist at the end of the first season, right? You know, I couldn't get past that. I had a hard time with that second season. I, I kind of like, that made me like not love it as much, maybe, right? Um, but it's very graphic. Lisa, what did you think? Gritty, yeah. It the concept is amazing. Like these 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 Jewish people who who survived the Holocaust, they're in the 70s hunting um Nazis that came to the United States. And it's I looked it up, it's a real thing. Um the United States um brought over some of the most brilliant Nazis to you know, work in our industries here. It was called Operation Paperclip, and it's, I don't know, it's disturbing. But anyway, if you can handle 
I don't need the tape for that. If you can handle gritty, gritty is a good word. Graphic is another good word. If you can handle that. You know, I told you guys last week, I have to find things that my husband likes as well. So that was definitely one. But now I have two other shows for you, okay? Um, I won't admit to anyone that I might or might not watch Days of Our Lives. I'm just going to not, I will not ever admit that may or may not have watched Days of Our Lives for like 30 years, but whatever. I was on the Peacock app watching just whatever. And, you know, Peacock is NBC's app. And, um, you know, when the show is done, it'll just automatically start playing something else for you. And it started playing this show called The Way Home. All right, now who's watched The Way Home? You guys, this one I can highly recommend. It's a Hallmark series, I think is what it says. It's a show. It's like mother-daughter kind of thing. Kind of reminded me a little of Gilmore Girls. Um, what was that other show I watched I liked so much? I don't know. It's on Peacock. There's only two episodes that have come out. Andy McDowell is in it. You guys, it's good. Okay, so you got to check that out. Way Home, okay, Les, you've seen it. Yes, you're watching it. Okay, good. It's very good. Okay, I have one more show to tell you about. But first, I got to tell you about this. So this little blob here is a little bit confusing. When I first tried to figure out where these letters go, um, it you have to kind of turn it like that so that it... Um, it, it looks like it's not straight, but once you get this larger word in here, it will, it will, um, make sense. Okay. Um, you know, all these apps, I can't keep up. You know, we used to have all these channels and you could just like flip through. And now when we sit down to, in the evening to watch TV, we're like, well, which app was that on? Where was that? I can't remember. You know, it's, and then if you, so if you have Amazon Prime and you subscribe, let's say to HBO through Amazon Prime, and then you forget that you've done that, and then you go over and download the HBO app and subscribe again, then you don't realize it. <laughs> Not that I would know from experience. Because, you know, you get charged from Amazon Prime and you just think, okay, that was just an Amazon something. But then you realize you've been paying for it twice. Does that happen to anybody else? It's very annoying. Very annoying. All right, so we've got that put together. <laughs> um, I have started writing down, well, as I check my bank account every month, writing down what subscriptions I have and where it's being paid. Is it PayPal? Is it credit card? Is it debit card? I need my pieces. And I think that's their plan, right? They, they, they want to confuse us. They want us to not know what we're paying for. Um, this is Blackberry Bliss card base with a piece of that favorite flower designer series paper. Now here's the Hive 3D embossing folder. I am a little bit obsessed with this embossing folder. I love it. This is a piece, a quarter piece of fresh freesia. And we're going to adhere it sideways like this. And the thing is, is that when you do this, you have to make sure that you've covered up everything over here because sometimes you might do it like this and then you haven't covered up that. So you have to kind of turn your paper until you see that you have that part of the card covered. So I have found if putting your adhesive like this is the best bet. Remember, I made these as swaps, so I'm a little experienced. Okay. So now that looks like it makes no sense. That looks like you accidentally set down your paper <laughs> onto something that was that had adhesive on it, right? All right, so get either your trimmer or your scissors and trim it off and then it will make sense, okay? And save these scraps, save the bigger scrap because we're gonna use it. There we go. Now look, guys, I'm using some stuff today that is on back order. I don't want to hear it, all right? I know, things go on back order and some of you get very mad, but that's just the way it is, all right? So this, this ribbon I'm using next, it's on back order. It's unorderable right now. 
And I probably don't even have enough for make and take. So those of you that get make and takes next week, you might get a different ribbon in your kit, okay? That just means it was super popular. And, you know, that's a good thing. Okay, hold on. Where's my, here's my take a pick tool. Um, this is the Real Red and Burlap Ribbon Combo Pack. All right, and I put um, tear and tape right across that angle. And we're going to use this punch here in a minute that some of you are going to be very mad at because it's unorderable for a long time. But, you know, we've learned, right, guys, in the Stampin' Up! world. If you, if you want something, you better jump on it because things go on back order. And especially during the Chinese New Year where things come over from Asia, it's very hard to get things this time of year. Um, so, you know, that's just the way it is. Um, Roswell, New Mexico, Lisa, I haven't heard of that. How do I find it? Rocket Monkey. Okay, I've missed a lot of comments. The good Dr. Lisa. Yes, you know, people keep telling me about that. Um, Peggy, you can't make up your mind about the way home. Really? I like it. Okay, I will just give you guys a little bit, um, of a hint about the way home. There's a little bit of a time travel situation, okay? Which I love. Not not in, well, I mean, I guess any time travel's weird, but it's, it's good. If you've watched Outlander, I like you some time travel. Um, days of our lives, I know. Days of our lives, how embarrassing. How embarrassing, I would never admit to watching Days of Our Lives for 30 years. I would never, ever, 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 ever admit it. You know, that's one of those things that's just on in the background while you're doing other stuff. <laughs> you don't actually sit down and watch Days of Our Lives, right? I mean, you don't even need to look at the screen the whole time. You could miss three weeks and you would still know what's happening. Um, I put the, <laughs> those two flowers on with uh, dimensionals and I'm... Uh, sliding in the leaves back here with glue. Yeah, you guys keep telling, keep telling me what shows you watch. And we're going to talk about it every day. Um, I mean, every Friday, because, you know, in the evening, my husband and I sit in the living room together. And I always am like working on swaps or something. And, but we have to have something to watch. Otherwise, you're stuck watching either cable news barf or reality tv barf or game shows oh i don't want to watch any of that so you have to get creative and find other things to watch right all right so i'm putting a piece of basic white in here because that card base is too dark you're not gonna be able to write your message and then just a scrap of dsp like this but remember this little piece that we um cut off. Well, get that punch <laughs> when you can order it in April <laughs> and punch yourself a heart. If you have another heart punch or another heart die, that would work just as well. You're not going to die without the heart punch, right? I mean, you're not really. We all have hearts somewhere in our stash somewhere. All right. So then last but not least, you can leave this stamp off and and then whenever you need it, add, you know, make it for whatever occasion you need. But I'm just going to go ahead and stamp happy anniversary. Last but not least, we're going to add some pearls to the middle. Does anybody see my pearls? They were here just like two seconds ago. Where did they go? Ah, oh, here they are. Right here. Um... <laughs> Carla, that's funny. I could never get Ted to watch Days of Our Lives ever. Um, it's embarrassing when my kids are home. I'm like, I don't, I don't watch that. I don't know what you're talking about. But you know, th and during the day when I'm working, I want to listen to stuff and there's nothing else on. And you get tired of music. I don't know. I'm just whatever. Okay, there you go. What do you guys think? Valentine-ish, but not Valentine's. It could be. Or it could not be. Whichever one you want to do. Whichever one. Um, yeah, so, yeah, the clover punch, you guys. Didn't see that coming. 
it's sold out forever and ever and ever. I know, I know, I know. It's upsetting, but you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? There's no amount of crying or whining or complaining is going to fix it. It's just, it is what it is. Stamp set still available. Stamp set is the most adorable part of the bundle, in my opinion. Right? Right? Okay, next project. Hold on. Okay, next project. This one is a fun fold, or maybe you call it a fancy fold. I don't know, but it's fun. And it holds a gift card, okay? So it's a regular card like this, right? Just a regular card, but it has a mini card on the front, if I can get it to open, that holds a gift card, right? So cute. So that's what we're gonna make. Um, again, we're using favorite flowers and we are using a couple of things from the Country Bouquet. Um, you could easily fussy cut this heart, you guys, okay? So, I mean, come on. It's not that big of a deal that the punch is gone, right? And the punch isn't gone. This heart punch is coming back, just not until April. <laughs> Don't you, the messenger. Believe me, Stampin' Up! wants to sell the punch. They would have it if they could. You know, Jody, I opened a box this morning that had my clover punch in it that came yesterday. I know. I was like, oh, I guess I got lucky. I, I just, I have a hard time believing that it's never coming back, but I don't know. I bet there'll be one next year, too. Sometimes they bring punches back. Remember the moose punch, you guys? The moose punch sold out. Everybody was mad. And then the next year it came back. So, you know, I'm not telling you it's going to. I'm just saying weirder things have happened, right? You gotta, you gotta look on the bright side, the positive side, have wishful thinking. All right, so I'm putting this card together first, the base card. We gotta get it in place so that we can attach the other card. A little of my favorite gingham ribbon, snip, snip. All right, so just a basic card. Ba black, uh, basic black on the outside. You gotta put that piece of white on the inside. Now, here is the little mini card on the front. Um, and I have DSP for this as well. And you know, you guys, this paper is free. So use it, use it up. If you love it, get another pack of it. I love that pattern. And I really like this um, green pattern as well. This mossy meadow pattern. All right, now for this, we're gonna make a little pocket so that we can put our gift card in there. All right, just put a tiny, tiny bit of glue around three sides. And then set that down like that. All right, we're gonna set that aside to dry and we're gonna stamp a couple of things. We have this stamp right here that we're gonna stamp in Calypso Coral. And I wanna point out that when you stamp this, it looks like it's not right, right? Like it looks like something's wrong. Well, it's a distressed look. If you look at the stamp set right here, see how it's just kind of a distressed, that's how it's designed to look. So don't think there's anything wrong with your punch because there's not. All right, we have a stitched scallop from our scallop contour or contour scallop or whatever. I can never remember what they're called. It's on the supply list. Um, we're gonna stamp a couple of Calypso Coral Hearts on that. We're gonna stamp the For You here on this tiny stitched banner. And we're going to, did I get the embossing buddy? Here it is. We're gonna stamp this heart in 
white craft. I re-inked my craft pad yesterday and let's see how it does. Oh, I gotta use my embossing buddy. Embossing buddy will release any of that static, hopefully, so it doesn't, the little crystals or the little powder doesn't stick where you don't want it to stick. Okay. Come on, Facebook, show me the comments. Little, little white embossing powder. Did it, did it cover it? Does it, I mean, wow, it was like perfect. And then you're just gonna hit it with your heat tool for about 20 seconds until it turns shiny. Let me see your comments while I'm doing this. Any other shows to recommend? Yeah, Clippy, I don't think Stampin' Up! realized how much people want to make St. Patrick's projects. You know, I don't make St. Patrick's projects typically, but I have a lot of requests for them. So, so, yeah, in some parts of the country, I guess, maybe. And it's just really cute. All right, so punch that out or fussy cut it. I'm also bringing in some of this. This is um, the perfectly penciled designer series paper from the annual catalog. You know, that pack that has all the black and white pattern? That's what that is. All right, let's bring this back over. And we're gonna put this, oh, I forgot to stamp the sentiments on the front. And I really like this saying, I love that we are friends. This card could be given for any occasion or for no occasion at all. It's a really cute say saying. All right, I gotta punch out my other, my other heart. Like that. And now we'll just layer. Now, if you like the purpley patterns better, the Rich Razzleberry and Blackberry Bliss patterns, then just change the colors of your card and your stamps. I mean, you could stay with a black uh, card base. You just, all you would really need to do is change the stamp color and then, you know, use a different pattern from the pack. Now, to keep my card closed, my little gift card card, I'm gonna use these button magnets. They are from Amazon. They are linked on my blog today under this photo. I love them. I use them all the time. One trick I have found to get these guys to stick, you need to stack two glue dots on each magnet. I don't know why two stacked is stronger than just one, but it's way stronger and it will stay, it will keep your magnet in place. So two glue dots on your magnets and then there you go, see how that goes together like that, okay? And then we've got our pocket, let's put our little, our embossed heart right here and our for you right there. And that's where your gift card goes, close it up. And I'm gonna use four dimensionals, one, two, three, four. You know, I have this little bowl here for these, but yet I still continue to just fling them all over my desk. There was one in the dog bowl again this week. I find them in the dog bowl a lot, the water bowl. <laughs> I don't know how they, they fall off me into there, they fall off the dogs into there, I'm not sure. All right, and there you go. That's a really easy, fun fold card, guys. What do you think? I like it. I like it. Okay, we have one more project. And let me make room. Let's see, do I need this? I do not need that. I do need this. And I need this over here. All right, we're gonna make a Valentine treat that could also be not a Valentine treat. 
All right. Um, thanks, guys. Oh, good. I'm glad you like them, Jody. They are great. Those button magnets are fantastic. I got them, the idea from my friend Angie Judah. She's the one that introduced them to me. Okay, so here's our box that we're gonna make today. Have you guys seen these Hershey's Milk Chocolate Hearts Bar? They're at Walmart, they're like a dollar in the Valentine section. But I think some other probably long and narrow candy bars would fit in this box as well. All right, so we're gonna do this this heart right here. You know what? Okay, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't think it was in there, but it was. This is a two-step stamp where you really need your stamparatus. And I have found stamping the flowers first. Get your, I am better at lining up the leaves after I have stamped the flowers. If I do it the other way around where I stamp the leaves first and then the flowers, I don't get it lined up very well. But again, play around with yours. Oops. And, you know, see which one works best for you. Carrie, I love this paper too. All right, so we're going to start with the flowers. I'm going to put it right here. And if you are like, what's happening? My photopolymer stamps are pulling my paper up. That's normal. The photopolymers are just sticky. So really use your magnets and also, where are my little scissors? Hold on. You can take your little scissors and hold your paper down too when you pull that plate up. Um, also, the first time you use your photopolymer um, stamps, they're gonna be stickier. They're gonna be the stickiest the first time you use them. The more you use them, the less sticky they will be. Um, the first time I like to like stick it to my shirt, stick it to my hand to kind of release some of that stickiness. All right, so there. Again, with a weird distressed kind of what's happening. It's supposed to look like that. This is fresh freesia and I want it to be really kind of solid and a little bit darker than what fresh freesia is. So there, that looks pretty good. I stamped it twice. Now, if you're gonna make several of these, leave it on your plate. Okay, and then get, once you get this one lined up, then all your plates, they're lined up. So you can stamp it as many times as you want and it's gonna be exactly where it should be. All right, that's the beauty of these, having two plates. All right, now I have to pull this down so I can look at it. You wanna just kind of look at all the flowers and get them, you know, in between the leaves. All right, let's see. And then you really don't want your paper to move because then it'll be off. I hope my paper didn't move. Okay, no, it did not. Okay, so now I'm going to use Mossy Meadow. And let's see. Like a glove, look at that. Very nice, I can hear you guys clapping. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, now, this one doesn't have a die. Doesn't it feel like this flower, there should be a die somewhere for this flower? There's not. So, here's your die, right here, okay? I'm gonna cut off all the extra cardstock. Now, while I'm cutting this out, I'm gonna tell you about the other show we started watching. And this one, I'm gonna warn you, is scary and kind of kind of freaky and a little bit gross, and I had to cover my eyes a couple of times. However, I really liked it. That What does that say about me? Um, it is called The Last of Us. It's new, a lot of people are talking about it. It's on HBO. It's a post-apocalyptic, zombie situation. A lot of you are going to be like, nope, that's not for me. Okay, good. Do not watch it then because it is very graphic and gritty, like we said earlier. Um, now, the difference between this show and the other show is that, you know, this is sci-fi, you know, like it's, you know, you know, it's not going to happen. Well, <laughs> 
we know it's not going to happen. The other show is like realistic and that kind of scary, but this is, um, it's got the guy from the Mandalorian. He was also in game of Thrones and it has the little girl, one of the little girls from game of Thrones. So, um, Christine, you're DVRing it. Okay. It's one of these, both of this show and the other one I told you about the way home, they're only releasing one episode a week, which irritates me. <laughs> I mean, it's like going back in time, right? Where we have to wait one whole week for an episode. It's very irritating. I mean, I guess it spreads it out so then you don't have to come up with something else to watch. But it's on HBO. And you know HBO is going to push the limits. So, but if, you know, you watch, you like those kind of sci-fi freaky things... <laughs> then you will like it. I was a fan of The Walking Dead, but I will tell you that it took me, I had to, that first episode years ago, I'm looking for my dies while I'm talking to you. Where are my dies? Right here. Um, when The Walking Dead came out, I didn't start watching it for several years. And then when I tried to start watching it, it took me three or four tries to actually watch that first episode because it really is disturbing. It is. But it's also like a car accident, you know, you can't look away. All right, back to what I'm doing. For you, stamped it in fresh freesia. All right. Now, while we're here, while we have this cut and emboss machine out, we're going to do some other things. I told you guys there is a stamp and die set, a bundle that goes with this paper, and it is called. It is called, hold on, oh, I can't remember, I've got to look. I, the names of these things, you guys, it's called, did I not put it on here? Oh yeah, oh and I spelled it wrong, didn't I? It says, <laughs> on the paper, it, it autocorrected, that has to be an autocorrect. Fragment flowers, that's not what it's called. Fragrant flowers is what it's called, okay? So it has the stamps that go with it, but I'm just using the dies today to cut out this right here. Okay. F not fragmented flowers. <laughs> Fragrant flowers. And it will tell you on in the um, celebration catalog, like with the farm, like with the dainty flowers, there are bundles that coordinate with it. So it'll tell you in the wording what page you can find the coordinating bundle on. All right, now we're gonna use this right here. I love this little stitch label. And we're gonna cut out also, let me show you. So what I've done here is cut out this the skinnier word from Blackberry Bliss, and we're gonna put it over the stamped word. Um, to, to adhere something like that, your best bet is an adhesive sheet. See, this is what an adhesive sheet looks like when you get it. <laughs> but if you're like me, you save every little scrap of adhesive sheet. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna put it like this. Let's see if I can get that. We don't need the adhesive sheet on the back of that. We just need it really on those words. So I'm just gonna piece this together. An adhesive sheet turns your, whatever you're cutting, it turns it into a sticker. All right, which for those of us who are not good with glue, liquid adhesive, it helps you adhere things without making a giant mess. All right. Um, Jody, that's right. The, she says this, game, this show, The Last of Us, was a video game first. Yes, I heard that, or maybe I saw that when I was, you know, every time we watch a show, I have to then Google it. You know, I got to know all the things. I got to know all about the actors. I got to know everything. And I saw that. All right, for you, we are going to move this back and put this together. All right, now where are my stamped words? There they are. So now we can just peel off the backing of this like a sticker. Be very careful because it's it's a little fragile because it's so narrow and skinny. Four, 
and you want to center it as best you can in that stamped word. I hear something going on outside. I close my blinds. I can't see. It sounds like someone's here. Maybe it's next door. Hmm. My oldest is coming home from college today for the weekend. And then we also have a basketball tournament and a tennis tournament. Yay. Fun weekend. <laughs> no, actually, the basketball tournament will, well, if they win today, they'll play one more time tomorrow and then it's over. Tennis tournament is just today. So not so bad. Not so bad. All right, so for you, we're going to use our mini dimensional, excuse my reach. Um, Wednesday, yes, Christine, Wednesday, three more seasons. Wow. Three more seasons. If you guys like, I don't know, it's kind of dark. Wednesday, my kids liked it. It's uh, Wednesday Adams from the Adams family. It's on Netflix. Really popular. My kids were like, like freaking out over it. I mean, I thought it was okay. I liked it. Not as much as they did, but it's cute. I I'll watch the next one. Yeah, for sure. All right, for you. So now we've got all of our things in place. We just need to make our box. So let me close my ink. A black dark comedy, perfect description. Yep, that's perfect. Why did I have two pieces of white here? I don't know. I don't think I needed that other white for anything. All righty, we're gonna need our Simply Scored. Now the measurements for this box are underneath the list on that free pdf over on my blog right here this sheet you know i've got quite a mess here hold on this is um mossy meadow and i chose mossy meadow because that's the color in the dsp all of our colors will match all you have to do is look to see what colors are listed five and a half by eight and a half so you can get two of these out of one sheet on the long side you're going to score it at three fourths of an inch and seven and three fourths. And then on the short side, you're gonna score it at just half an inch, two and a fourth, three, and uh, four and three fourths. Now, when I designed this box, th this box is three fourths, three fourths of an inch thick. I had this, this, and this, all three fourths of an inch. But then I realized that the measurements for this would be five and three fourths by eight and a half, which means you can only get one out of a full sheet of cardstock. So this side is half an inch so that we can get two, right? This is gonna be the tab that you would hear behind here, so it won't matter, okay? So just pay attention to your sides. One is three fourths of an inch. That's not the one we're going to cut off the corners. It's the half inch tab that we're going to cut off the corners. All right, now grab your scissors. Again, half an inch right here. Okay, this is the half inch tab. We're going to cut off these little squares and then cut the ends at an angle. Like that. And then we're going to snip, snip, snip. Do the same thing over here. Snip. I don't know why he's barking. Okay. Our oldest dog, Mac. Well, he and Charlie are the same age, but Charlie acts like he's 10 years younger. Mac is now... We think he's deaf and we know he's pretty much blind. <laughs> and he barks at everything. You can hear him. He's in his kennel right now, just barking. He can come out. He's not locked in there. He's just laying in there. All right, tear and tape right there. He was the one in here sniffing around for trash. His sense of smell is still there. Um, if you fold this over, then fold that over. You should have a perfect match, okay? like that, and there's your box. Now, on the bottom, fold in the sides and the back, and then fold in that front tab last, and 
come on, adhere that closed, okay? And then your giant Hershey bar can go inside. Fold those up the same way, but don't adhere that because you don't want your recipient to have to rip the box apart to get to it. We want them to be able to display it beautifully on their shelf <laughs> after they eat their candy, right? Right. All right, then I've got gold shimmer. And we're gonna tie the top closed. Let's make sure that that lays flat. Like that. And finish with a bow. Now these aren't traditional Valentine colors, but definitely in my mind, because it's Valentine's candy, it's a Valentine treat. But you know, my kids would not be caught dead giving something to someone that says, I love you or love something. So, you know, this is a little safe platonic treat they could give their teacher or friend, right? All right, so just some dimensionals and then we are done. So the flower along with that cute little heart and then our for you, there you go, easy. That's a pretty easy project, I think. What do you guys think about the colors? Non-traditional, it doesn't match the colors of the candy, but does it have to? I don't think so. I mean, sometimes I try to make it match, but I don't think it has to for sure, right? Oh, thanks guys. Um, <laughs> Lois, the sense of smell never goes. He's 15 and tried to find the whenever there was a good up to the end. Oh, oh poor baby. Yeah, his sense of smell, he can, and I think he can still hear a wrapper also, like a bat chip, chip bag. I mean, he's not totally deaf. <laughs> he can definitely hear those. Okay, let me show you guys a couple of other things. Um, my team this, this month, our team uh, make and takes were these fun folds that featured this paper along with the something fancy stamp set. So I just wanted to show them to you. I'll have one or two of them on my blog this next week. This one was really hard to do. Um, and then this one is an easel card that sits like that. That was hard to photograph. It didn't look good in the photographs, but I think it's really pretty. All right, so be on the lookout on Monday for a couple more ideas. And don't forget, if you would like me to send these make and takes to you on Wednesday, get your order in by Monday at midnight, online order. You can order whatever you want. I normally don't even really look at your orders. Um, but if you don't use the host code, I'm gonna think, okay, she didn't, she didn't want those make and takes. I'm not gonna send them to her. So you have to use the host code unless your order is over $150. Don't use the host code because then you're going to get Stampin' Rewards and I will still send you the projects. Okay? You guys have a wonderful weekend. Stay warm up there, up north. I know we're going to get cold here soon too. So you guys, let's enjoy the cold before it gets blazing hot. Well, down here anyway. <laughs> have a wonderful weekend, guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye.